item of business is the Court Funds Administration Bill Deputy 2017. Can I call on Deputy John McGuinness? Where is Deputy John McGuinness? Uh, to make an explanatory statement to introduce the bill. Yeah, the, the, the governance of this particular fund um, dates back in terms of its legislation to somewhere in the region of 1870. Uh, and as far back as 1940, there was difficulties in relation to this fund uh, highlighted at that time. And then in the years 63, 64, 66 and 67, there were other issues raised uh, through the Public Accounts Committee in relation to the management and transparency of the funds. Now, there's 18,500 uh, affected. There's 1.5 billion euro in the fund in 2015, as recorded, uh, and 2,500 uh, of those that are part of the wards of court system uh, represent a fund of almost 1 billion euro. Now, those that are involved in it have. Uh, through the years been fighting for greater transparency and greater accountability. So when I look at the correspondence that dates back to 2004 in more recent years, it clearly states that a new arrangement for funds being, to be invested in unitised funds was being considered and a new way of governance was being considered. Again in 2009, the same commitment was given in relation to the management of those funds and in relation to accountability to the individuals on whose behalf the funds were being managed, families uh, and others. Now, in one particular case, the fund on, in 2009 represented for this particular individual €327,000. In the short space of six years, that fund was reduced to 97,000. Now, when individuals, families, want to get transparency, want to get accountability, they're met with a complete blank wall that they're not responded to, they're not given the details, and they are now deeply frustrated because the funds have been diminished to the extent that they are now almost at zero. And the family continue to have to care for the individual that is ward of court, with, very, with little or no funds. Now, the Public Accounts Committee, following a hearing some time ago, uh, put forward a number of recommendations to the Minister. None of them were implemented. And certainly the rights of the parents and those involved in these funds were not recognised. And that is still the position to this day. And in spite of the fact that over the years, the CNAG in one particular year suggested that he could audit the accounts. In other years, it was suggested, no, the remit doesn't extend that far. So in the interest of transparency and accountability, the families want the recommendations put forward following hearings of the PAC to be implemented by the minister to give greater accountability, to explain where the funds were invested, to explain why the funds were perhaps poorly invested or poorly managed in those years. And it is outrageous to see funds being diminished in this way, particularly when they're going towards the upkeep of an individual family member that requires extra care, extra assistance and so on. And in fact, in some cases, when inquiries were made about these funds, the court's uh, services would not reply because they cited the, uh, you know, this, this, this um, separation of powers, the fact that they were independent, but yet if the civil servants are being paid to manage the funds, the funds are there being invested on behalf of someone that has been awarded the funds in court, and yet those that are closely associated with the fund in terms of the family, they're entitled to nothing. So all this bill is doing is asking that the Controller and Auditor General, which was promised down through the years, from the 1960s up to now, that the Controller and Auditor General would be given the power to examine the accounts and to recommend whatever appropriate changes that the CNAG sees fit to give that transparency and that accountability.
And I'm asking in the context of this bill and in the spirit of the bill that the Minister would insist on each and every ward of court or committee being entitled now to a review of their accounts dating back to 2005, that that account be given to them so that they clearly understand how the fund was managed or mismanaged and that someone be held to account in, in, in view of the losses incurred on each and every um, amount of money that was funded through the war system. So it's Thank a simple you, bill, but it brings the transparency that is required, and I believe it would bring the reform that is necessary and answer the frustration and anger that people now feel Thank over the losses much, that they have to endure, and indeed the future losses, because of the care that they have to provide without that money to their loved ones. All right. Is the bill being